Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For the cheapest coins anywhere, check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. did something that I have literally never seen them do in all of the years that I've been playing Madden Ultimate Team and we need to talk about this. Now I do want to give a shout out to Playboy for being a part of the Nodi Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid, make sure you guys are sub to the channel, turn notification bell on and comment down below, Nodi Gang. Also want to say shout out to you guys that got my picks yesterday. Once again, we have yet to have a losing NFL day. Every single day so far, we have profited over a thousand dollars in W's yesterday. And right now guys, if you sign up before Monday Night Football starts using code ZERK, they will double your first deposit up to $500, and you guys will get this Jordan Love 0.5 total yard special. Which, by the way, my Monday Night Football picks for tonight are already up right now over on Twitter, so if you guys want to check those out, as I said, use code ZERK. Follow me over on Twitter for my picks. So as you guys can see right here, this is what I am talking about. The Unstoppable LTDs. Now, some people saw this, and they thought, okay, well, it's not really a big deal. It's whatever. Kind of cool. Uh, this is actually pretty big, okay? For those of you guys that don't know, the Unstoppable LTDs, guys, number one, they came out of packs Saturday morning, or Saturday afternoon, rather, at 1.30, right? LTDs are only in packs for 48 hours, and then they come out of packs. So, as of today, we have the new AKA promo with the Grave Digger, and also with Mike Allstop, right? Well, we don't have an LTD with AKA. We don't have one. However, it appears as though EA went ahead and added in the Unstoppable LTDs back into packs. Now, the big question is, why did EA do this? Okay, number one, did EA do this because the AKA promo was kind of lackluster today? I feel like it wasn't a really hyped up AKA release. Obviously, just a fullback and then a DT, which we now have like four defensive tackles that have came out in the last two weeks that finally get inside stuff. A ton of defensive tackles, right? So really not a lot of hype around the AKA release for today. But EA went ahead and added in the Unstoppable LTDs back into packs. Now, not only that, it just so happens that EA also dropped this special offer in the store today, which is $100 for an Unstoppable Grand Champ Pack. Now, what does it give you? It gives you 290 overall Unstoppable Champions and a 187 plus overall Unstoppable Player. Now, just going to say this. If they were to go ahead and drop this offer in the store, it still is like solid value, to be honest, because you get 290 overall unstoppable champs and 187 plus. Now, I know that a lot of people as well, when we first kind of saw that Derwin James and Josh Allen were flying around the auction house being pulled today, uh, and the header wasn't there, we all just kind of assumed that maybe it was glitched and they were in the unstoppable grand champion pack. That is not the case. As you guys can see, they are in every single pack in the game right now. Someone tweeted me right here with an unstoppable force pack today, and they pulled Derwin. So, yes, 100%, they are in packs, as it does say. And no, they're not just in that special offer. They are in every single pack right now. As you guys can see, if we just filter through unstoppables and take a look at these 90 overalls, if you're spending $100, you want to make about a million coins, right? So, as of right now, the cheapest one is about 400 k with Quinn and Williams, Kyle Pitts, 450 it is still a really, really solid pack offer, right? Because right there, you're going to make 800,000 coins, and then you get 87, it's about 100K. So if you get just the 290s, the 187, you're still making about 900,000 coins. That is a really, really good offer. EA adding back the LTDs, though, obviously makes that offer a lot more valuable. As you guys can see, Josh Allen going for 821,000 coins now, and also Derwin James uh, going for 700K. But you have the chance there to pull one of those limiteds, right? That is awesome for that. And also now we have LTDs and packs right now. It's cool, right? It's a cool thing that we went ahead and got it. But it's actually not that cool. And let me explain to you guys why. Now, yes, I do think that it's awesome that they added them back into packs. You know, made the offers better. Uh, now when we're opening up packs, pretty much whoever knows how long. It says limited time. I'm guessing it's for the next two days here. Uh, because, of course, tomorrow we don't really have anything. Wednesday we get Team of the Week. Then Thursday we have the Most Feared promo. Well, that's cool, right? We'll have LTDs pull for the next 48 hours. The issue is, this causes a lot of concern. And what is the concern this brings up? Well, the concern with this, with the unstoppable LTDs going back in the packs is, is this a one-time thing, or is EA now at any time during the rest of the year going to bring Limiteds back into packs? Because some of you guys may not do this, but a lot of people 
like to invest into LTDs, right? They wait until maybe the second day of LTDs being out, which is usually when they start to get a little bit cheaper, uh, maybe with Legends or with, you know, certain promos, whatever, and they invest into cards, specifically some of the more cheap ones, right? Because here's the thing. They're only in packs for 48 hours. So when they're only in packs for 48 hours, there is a select limited amount of the limited LTD cards, right? There was only a certain amount of Josh Allen's that had been pulled, only a certain amount of Derwin James uh, that had been pulled. Now, obviously, Josh Allen, that investment did not go well for myself and a lot of other people as well. Uh, I bought them for 1.2 mil. They ended up, number one, being glitched and not even working correctly with their X factors. People got frustrated, sold them off pretty much instantly. Uh, his price tanked pretty quick. Then EA dropped Joe Montana on Saturday and then today. So obviously, cheaper, cheaper, cheaper. Not a good investment here. But some other investments that have been really, really good even this year are O-linemen, I feel like, are really, really good ones and other positions, right? Sometimes LTDs come out, they get pretty cheap, 430, 450, 425,000 coins. People buy up five, six, seven, eight of them, wait a couple of days, and boom, they're up over 500K, 550, 600,000 coins. You can make a lot of coins off of them. This is going to scare people because now we don't know what's going to happen. Is EA just randomly going to be like, eh, actually, let's bring those limiteds back. This is obviously not good if you're one of those people that like to invest into LTDs because the thing, as I mentioned, was as long as, you know, they are some solid cards or maybe some overlooked cards and they're a little bit on the cheaper side, you can pick them up and you can make a lot of coins off that investment. But if EA is just going to go ahead and bring them back in a couple of days, that could be an issue. So you guys can let me down below what you think about this, but also you kind of have to factor this in. EA literally dropped a $100 special offer. And to make the special offer seem more enticing, they brought the limiteds back. That's just crazy to me. We have the most fear promo that's coming out on Thursday. Uh, we also do have tomorrow, of course, with Team of the Week. Team Diamonds are going to be coming eventually, uh, hopefully relatively soon as well with that. So I got to say, I don't personally think that I would maybe spend the money on this offer here. But a lot of people just also mentioned how it's crazy the EA brought Limiteds back just to try to get people to spend a little bit more money right before we get the most fear promo. Just a little bit crazy. Let me know down below what you guys think about that. I also do want to mention this real quick. The Doritos uh, Travis Kelsey. That was actually supposed to go live today. And it did go live today. If you guys have like a Doritos bag that you got from Walmart, whatever. It is for Xbox only. There's that special offer for Travis Kelsey. I got a bag. I have a code. I went to Doritos. I typed in the code. I didn't get anything. So... I don't really know. A lot of people are asking me about that. What's going on with Travis Kelsey? Are we going to get the card today? What's going on? I have absolutely no clue. All I can tell you is I went to Doritos, typed in the code that was on the bag, and yeah, I haven't received anything yet. So I don't know. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like on it. Hit that sub button down below. Check out Underdog Fantasy. Use code Zerk. Follow me over on Twitter for my Monday Night Football picks. See how we do tonight. And if you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.